gosh, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Hello, friends. So, I'm using two types of primer on her face. The first one is Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Hydrant, and then later on, I'll be spraying her face with this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I guess she said she's a little bit on the dry side. Then I'm putting a very sheer layer of Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm mixing two shades for her face, which is shade R220 and Y235. I'm just putting a very sheer layer because I just want to see what's the oxidation gonna look like on her face, um, if the color will change. And I'm just blending it all with a beauty blender. Then I'm going in with Sephora After Glow Primer and Luminizer on a beauty blender and I'm just putting it on the high point of her face just to give her a little bit of a glow. And then I'm just going in with 24 hour shadow insurance from Too Faced and placing it all over her eyelid. This is to prime it and then I'll be setting it with the highlight shade from Kat Von D Shade in Light Palette. Going in with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, I am just picking up the gold color at the very top left of it and just placing it on her mobile lid. And then on the palette at the very top right, you can see like two types of oranges in there. Like one is a burnt one and the other one is kind of like a cool shade. So I'm picking those two up and then starting a, a very light stroke, I am trying to build up the color through blending. And I'm concentrating on the tools for this one. And I just had to make sure that there's no harsh lines, so I'm going back and forth with a clean blending brush. And then going back in the palette, I'm just picking up those two shades of brown. One is cool and one is warm. And I'm just concentrating it on the V corner of her eye to create depth on it. And then I'm going back and forth with a pencil brush and a blending brush. Just to make sure that there's no harsh line on it. I went back in again with the gold shade and this time I sprayed the concealer brush with a Fix Plus to give more intensity on the color and I just reapply whatever is on her lid. To highlight her brow bone, I just use again the uh, highlight shade from the Kat Von D Shade in Light Palette. Okay. 
Now working on our brows, I use three products on it. Um, the very first one is NYX Proof It Waterproof Eyebrow Primer. And guys, if you are using a powder product on your brows, you should definitely try this one. It will literally not erase whatever you're gonna put in there. And then I just use the Jaclyn Hill palette um, to fill in her brow. She has naturally um, have a very nice set of brows, so I just fill in whatever the gap is. And then I'm just setting her brows with Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara in shade Blondie Brows. Going back in on her face, I applied another layer of foundation on it um, because the very first one was just a sheer layer and then now I know that um, the color didn't change and her face didn't dry up on it. So I'm just putting in another layer for it and blending it all with a beauty blender. Now, for her concealer, I used the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter in shade Light. She doesn't really need that much concealing but this is just to give more highlight on her face as well. And then I'm just setting it all in with a Morphe translucent powder. And I'm just using the same powder to set her entire face. Going in to contour her face, I just used the Urban Decay Weightless Concealer in shade Dark Holden. I didn't realize how orange it was until it was all over her face, so I just had to blend it all in and make it all work out. And I'm still contouring on this part and I'm just making sure that everything is all blended out. Um, I don't want her to look too orange so I just had to make sure that yeah with the power of the beauty blender everything will be blended out.
to set the liquid, I just use the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion all over her cheeks and wherever I have applied that Urban Decay um, Weightless Concealer. And going in to contour her nose, I just use Kat Von D's Shade and Light Contour Palette. Now to highlight her and give her the glow that I wanted to achieve, first I went in with NYX Bright Idea in shade Pearl Pink Place and placed it on the high point of her cheeks. And then next, I used the Mika Beauty Cosmetics in highlight number 3. I got this from my Ipsy bag and then I am just lightly dusting it on her cheeks. Particularly on the cheekbones and the high point of her cheeks or wherever I place the next illuminating stick. And then for blush, I used Too Faced Love Hangover and I am just brushing it all over her cheeks as well. Then I went back in to work on her eyes again and this is to completely finish it all off. So going back in the Morphe palette again, I am just outlining her eyelid with a flat definer brush and I am, I think I dip it in in a brown shade. And then whatever I have done on the upper lid, that's what I did on the lower lid as well to make her eye stand out. Now for her lashes, I used the Ardell 120 Wispies and it's so funny because I completely forgot to put mascara on her eyelashes because I was so excited to put it on her and see how it looks like and it looks so dramatic and it looks so good on her.
that was a very brief introduction while well, she was already snapchatting whatever that was happening at that time and I'm just going back in to put in the other pair of lash So now I am actually applying a mascara on her lashes and I am just using the Essence Waterproof Mascara and I just want to make sure that the lashes and her natural lashes are blended in together. And I'm just putting a little bit of highlight in the inner corner of her eye and I am using Bega Champagne Pop. To moisturize her lips, I am using the MAC Lip Conditioner before I apply in um, the matte lipstick from Urban Decay. Now for her lip color, I chose Urban Decay's Matte Start Naked Lipstick and it looks so good on her that it matches whatever I have put on her face for some reason. Um, whenever I put this lipstick on, it would look completely nude but on her, it looks a little bit of orange in it or peach so it matches really well. Then I just went back in to clean up the contour with the Morphe Translucent Powder. Now to set her face, I use Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And I just sprayed it all over on her and we are done! Literally at our Miss BC pageant, there's sparkle everywhere. Mm -hmm. We have a sparkle guy who oh, sparkle has, guy? yeah, he has, he takes hostage of all of the sparkle. Yeah. And before we go on, he literally just goes, and like blows sparkle on us. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and our hair is just like sparkle, oh, and like we're all sparkly. Yeah. But it looks so nice, like on stage, it's like, oh. yeah.